In the last lecture, we discussed about different data types supported in BSON data format and in MongoDB. And one of the types which we talked about in brief is the array type. The array type in MongoDB is used to store a list of items. The item can be simple values like list of countries, colors, etc. Or it can also be a list of objects like list of products, list of users, etc. So for example, here we have this hobbies field which is storing an array and this is an array of string values. Then here we have this friends field which is again storing an array. But in this array, we have a list of users. So here in this list, we have user objects. Okay, so an array is used to store a list of values. The values can be of simple type like string, number, boolean, etc. Or it can also be a list of embedded documents. Here we have another example. So here we have a document in which we have a name field, which is storing a string value. We have an age field, which is storing a number value. We have this is active field, which is storing a Boolean value. We have this subscription type field, which is storing an embedded document. And we have this address field, which is storing the city and country of the user. So it is an array of string values. And then we also have this purchases field, which is storing a list of products. So whatever product the user has bought, those products are listed here. And these products are basically the embedded documents. Now we will talk about embedded documents in great detail in our next lecture. In this lecture, we want to learn about arrays. Okay, so again, an array is used to store a list of items. That list of item can be a list of simple types like string, number, boolean, etc or it can also be a list of embedded objects. Now let's understand array type practically with some examples. So let's go to Mongo shell. And here, let's first go ahead and let's first query the users collection. So I'm going to use find method on this users collection to fetch all the documents. So as you can see, it is returning us a cursor and that cursor stores these 20 documents. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to delete all the documents from the users collection and to delete all the documents from a collection. We can call the delete many method on the collection. In this case, we want to delete all the documents from the users collection. So on this users collection, we are going to call delete many method and to delete all the documents to this delete many method, we can simply pass an empty object like this. And when I press enter, you will see that the deleted count is 47. So in the users collection, we had 47 documents and all those 47 documents has been deleted. If I go ahead and if I run find command again, you will see that now in that collection, we don't have any document. Let's clear Mongo shell. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to insert some new documents in the users collection. And in order to save some time, I have this customer.js file where I have an array and in that array, I have a list of user documents. So total, I have 10 user documents here. Okay, let me go ahead and let me expand one of the documents. So each user document is going to have a name property an age property. This is active property. We have this subscription type property. We have this address property and this purchases property. Okay, so this address property here, it is an array. It is storing an array value and this purchases property also, it is storing an array value. And in that array, we have list of products. So let me go ahead and let me copy this array. And let's go to MongoJS. There on the users collection, let's go ahead and let's call insert many method. And to this insert many method, I'm going to pass that array. And in that array, we have JSON objects. Here we don't have JavaScript objects. We have JSON objects because as you can see, each property here is wrapped within double quotes. So this is JSON data. Let me copy this command and let's go ahead and let's paste it here. And let's go ahead and let's run this insert many command. If I press enter, you will notice that 
those 10 documents have been inserted and these are the object IDs for those documents. Let's clear Mongo shell and let's go ahead and let's query the users collection now. And now you can see that we have these many documents here. Okay, so these are the documents which is inserted in users collection. Now let me show you one of these documents and what fields do we have in that document. And after that, we will query these documents. So let me go ahead and let me clear this shell. For that, I'll type CLS command. And let's go ahead and let's use find one method here. So let's say I want to fetch the very first document from the collection. So for that, I'm using this find one method. And to this find one, I'm not passing any filter object. In that case, this find one method is going to return us the very first document from the collection. If I press enter, this is the document and you will see that each document has this underscore ID field assigned with this object ID. It has this name field, which has a string value. It has this age field, which has a numeric value. This is active field, which has a Boolean value. And then we also have this subscription type. And this subscription type is storing an embedded document because to this we are assigning an object as you can see. And in that object, we have other fields. Now we will talk about embedded documents in our next lecture. So for now, let's skip this property. Then we have this address property, which is storing an array. And in that array, we have the city of the user and the country of the user. Basically, this array is storing string values. And we also have this purchases field, which is again storing an array. And in that array, we have two embedded objects, two embedded documents. And each document here, it represents a product. So for example, product name is iPhone, brand of that product is Apple, and price of that product is 999. In the same way, another product is MacBook Air. For that also, the brand is Apple, and price is 1299. So these embedded documents here, it represents a product. So this is how each document in this user's collection is going to look like. So now let's go ahead and let's query our users collection using these arrays. So let's say what I want is I want to filter all those documents where the address array contains the country as USA. So all those documents where the country of the user is USA, that means where the address array contains this element USA, I want to filter those documents. So for that, we can again say db.user and we want to find all the documents which matches the filter criteria. So instead of find one, I'm going to use find method and here let's specify the filter criteria. So here the filter criteria is address should have USA in it. So here in the filter object to this address field, we are assigning a string value. But in the document, this address field is storing an array. And MongoDB is smart enough to understand that here we are trying to filter all those documents where the address array of the document has USA as its element in that array. So now if I go ahead and if I run this command, you will see it has returned only one document where the address is USA. So that means in the user's collection, we have only one document where this address array contains USA as its element. Now what I will do is let me clear the shell here and what we will do is here in the left hand side we can see all the documents. So let's say I want to search for this Michael Johnson. Okay, I want to search for this user in the users collection and there I want to change the address of that user and there I want to change the country to USA. So here let's go and let's say db dot users dot update one i want to update one document here and in this document first we need to pass the filter object so here i want to filter that object where name is michael johnson then i'm going to use another object here i'm going to use dollar set operator and what do we want to set we want to set the address and i want to assign this address with let's say city as New Jersey and country USA. Okay, let's go ahead and let's run this command. We have a syntax error. 
where is that syntax error so here first i am passing the filter object then i am passing the object with which i want to update that document right i think we have missed the closing curly brace here so that's why i prefer to write these mongodb commands in vs code because here it is not showing any syntax error only when we run it then only we see the syntax errors let me go and let me try to execute it one more time and this time it has been executed and modified count is one let me go ahead and let me clear the shell here and now let's again go ahead and let's try to filter all those documents where the address array contains us in it and now it should return us two documents as you can see it has returned us two documents the first document is john doe and the second document is michael johnson so this is the document which we updated and there we updated this address field and there we set the city as new jersey and country as usa so in this way you can also query a document using a field which stores an array all right now let's say i want to filter all the documents from this users collection where this brand is maybe apple so for that let's say db dot users dot and here we want to fetch documents so i'm going to use find method and to this find method let's go ahead and let's specify a filter so we want to filter all the documents where this brand is sony now here we are going to go to this purchases array so first we need to specify purchases field and in that field we are going to search for brand okay and what should be the brand it should be apple let's go ahead and let's press enter now here we have the syntax error because if you see here we are using a dot notation and keep in mind that whenever you use this dot notation to access a property in an object you must wrap it within double quotes so here what we are going to do is we are going to wrap this purchase dot brand within double quotes because in here we are using dot notation so it must be wrapped within double quotes and now if i go ahead and if i press enter it should return us all the documents where the product brand is apple and here you can see it has returned us one two and three documents and in all these three documents you will notice that when the user has purchased a product that product's brand is apple so here for this user also he has purchased a product where the brand is apple for this user also he has purchased a product where the brand is apple and here also the third user sophie lee she has purchased a product where the brand is apple so it is returning us all the documents from the users collection where a user has purchased a product of apple all right let's clear the shell now what i want is i want to filter all those documents where the user is either from usa or uk so in simple terms i want to filter all those documents where in the address array it has usa or uk as its element so for that again we can say db dot users dot find and to this find method we need to pass a filter object and in this filter object we want to filter using the address field the address field it is storing an array and we want to filter all those documents whose address array contains either usa or uk in it and to filter that here we are going to make use of an operator here we are going to use dollar in operator and in this dollar in operator we are going to specify the values so here we want to filter all those documents where the address array contains either usa or uk okay so if i go ahead and if i run this command again we have a syntax error here that's because here it should be an array and not an object okay so we want to filter all those documents whose address array has any one of these two elements let's go ahead and let's press enter and it has returned all these documents so in this document the address array contains usa in the second document the address array contains uk so that is also listed here that has been filtered here and in the third document also 
this address array contains this USA. So that has also been filtered here. Now what we want is instead of filtering all those documents where the address array contains USA or UK, we want to filter all those documents whose address array does not have USA or UK in it. So we can execute the same command, but there instead of using this in operator, we are going to use nin. That means not in. So here it is going to filter all those documents whose address array does not contain USA or UK in it. All those documents which has USA or UK in the address array that will be omitted and rest other documents will be fetched. So if I go ahead and if I run this command, it has fetched all the documents whose address array does not contain either USA or UK in it. So you see in this address array, we don't have USA or UK. In the second documents address array also, we don't have USA or UK. So that's why it is filtered here. In the third document also, in the address array, we don't have USA or UK. So that has been filtered here. So all those documents whose address array does not contain USA or UK, that has been filtered here. And this we have achieved using this NIN operator. Let's clear the shell again. Then let's say we also want to find all those documents which contains maybe city as London and country as UK. So here we are going to use all operator. Basically what this all operator will do is it will search the address array of all the documents and whichever documents address array contains both of these elements it will filter only those documents. So whatever we have specified here, any document which contains both of these elements in the address array, this all operator is going to filter those documents. In this case, we will have only one document where the city is London and country is UK. So that document will be filtered here. If I go ahead and if I press enter, you see that document has been filtered here, which has London and UK as its element in the address array. So this is all operator. Now we are going to talk about these operators in great detail in our coming lectures. Here I just wanted to show you some examples of how we can query a document using an array field. So in this lecture I wanted to give you a brief overview of array type in MongoDB and how we can query documents from a collection using an array field. Array is a very important type and it is used a lot whenever we want to store any type of list in a document in MongoDB collection and you will see the use of arrays a lot. We also use arrays for relating document in one collection to the documents in another collection and you will learn about it in our coming lectures. But the point which I want to make here is array is a very important type and you should know how to work with an array in MongoDB and also how to query a document using an array field. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.